Hey there, my name is Kevin. You guys might know me as the Market Bishop on Discord. Today I'll be going over an easy way to draw trend lines, a little bit more efficient and scaling out the noise that you usually would go into uh, plotting efficient and good trend lines. So to do this, to uh, present you this, I'll be using TradingView, which a lot of you will have access to. And we will be looking at a lot of people's favorite stock, which is Tesla. On my chart over here, we have two separate colors. We have white, which represents the bullish candles, and black, which represents the bearish candles. If you want to ask me why I have white and black instead of green and red, I have absolutely no idea. Just guess I want to be different from the crowd and ended up taking a very stupid route. But, you know, it's too late to change now, right? So to start off, we're going to be using Tesla as a example. And right now, as you can see, we're on Tesla on the three minute chart. This method does not only work with the three minute chart, it can work with almost every single time frame. Uh, but for it, this instance, we are going to be using the three minute chart. As you can see here, we see the candlestick chart, which a lot of people use, uh, per se, I use as well. But there is an easier way to plot out trend lines that, it, that will require you not to use the original and traditional candlesticks so what you will do is on the top left over here close to the top left you'll be able to change your chart style what i personally do is from the candlesticks that you could see here on this chart i usually select a drawdown and i go over to the chart type called the line chart now when i click on this you guys might see this and you guys will be able to see something that you've probably seen before Maybe this might have been on Robinhood, because Robinhood likes using line charts as a simplistic way to show how the stock is moving. Even though Robinhood, in my opinion, is not a good platform, it does present to you a simplistic and simple way to look at a price of a, of a stock, right? And when looking at a line chart, what it's basically displaying to you is the closing price for each time interval. So since we're looking at a three minute chart, every three minutes, the line moves and stays stagnant towards the price that it closed at, right? So once this, um, once this closes over here and moves, it'll be three minutes and that's where the price will have closed at. So when we look at this, the reason why we use this to help us or help me personally plot trend lines is because it reduces a lot of the noise that you would see in a regular candlestick chart as you can see right here and it just shows us the closing prices which to be honest is a little bit more important than just the wicks right so how do we plot trend lines from here so you could see tesla has a bullish sentiment especially in the past uh you can say you know two hours we've had lower highs up to this point and it's it seems that on a line chart as you can see that it's very easy to spot out that we're creating lower highs because you know it doesn't include all the wicks and all the candles and so on so it's another perk of having a referring to a line chart from time to time now how do we draw the trend lines well it's pretty simple just like you would do you know you would find where there are more touches for the line chart and we can see right here for the lower trend line we could start it off right over here, right? And let me adjust this a little bit because I plotted this incorrectly at first. But you can see once we once we adjust the trend line, you can see we have two touches and we start forming this lower trend line, right? And for the upper trend line, we could start off at this high, connect it to this recent top, and there's our upper trend line. So to as we can see here what we're cr somewhat creating is an ascending triangle. That's what our hypothesis is, right? Nothing is certain, but this is what we're guessing that is creating a ascending triangle. If we go back to the bar chart, a uh, candlestick chart, sorry, you can see that we that it is an ascending triangle. Now looking at this chart, we have this gray rectangle that you see right over here. This is a bullish level. I was able to plot this using the Renko chart, but that is a different video for another day that I'll go over what the Renko chart is and how to use that to create bullish and bearish levels that you can refer to. Now back to what we were looking at. If we go and continue the timeline, we can see that Tesla 
not only did, uh, not only almost respected the lower trend line, but it's been respecting the upper trend line. Now, as we stated before, this is a ascending triangle. That's our hypothesis. So we'd want it to break above the upper trend line and close below, close above the upper trend line to find a good entry for calls, right, or for longs if you're trading futures. And you could see here. We had few closes above the trend line, but there were nothing worth looking at. And we finally had this, these bullish candles form above the trend line, which shows us that longs or calls is the best option to go to. Now you can see here, if we just continue playing it out and we increase the speed, you can see that Tesla kept on continuing into the upside. And if we take it to the current time, you can see that it's it went Gain, let's see. You can see that it gained four dollars almost four dollars and fifty cents since our potential or a hypothetical entry for calls, right? So you can see here that drawing trend lines using the line chart makes it a lot easier for people who are not aware on how to draw them. And you know, as as the time goes on for certain stocks, you can always adjust the trend lines to make it a little bit more reasonable for you or uh, reasonable for the time and as you can see here I adjusted it right and you can see adjusting it gives you a little bit more better entries or better possibilities so this is an overview of how to use the line chart for plotting out upper and lower trend lines or trend lines in general if you guys have any questions you can leave in the comments below or message me on discord my discord is the market bishop and hashtag 888 I'll have it in the description below. Pleasure teaching this and hope to have more videos in the future. Thank you.